Oh my goodness, yes. So today we are making a Tuscan soup. You guys might be familiar with this. This is a very, very popular recipe at Olive Garden. It is Zuppa de Toscana, um, except that there's has potatoes. It is much higher in carbs. So today I'm gonna show you the easiest way to make it low carb. Okay, so I have all of my ingredients on here. I'm using some Italian sausage. I personally love it, but you can also use ground beef. We have our heavy cream, fresh minced garlic. If all you have is garlic powder, that's gonna work, but you know, nothing tastes like fresh garlic. We have Italian seasoning, our sun-dried tomatoes. This is just some parm, our onion, kale, and then we have our bone broth. So I love the one from Kettle and Fire. Um, it just adds so much nutrients to your dishes, collagen, protein, the whole shebango. So our pot is nice and hot. We're going to add in a little bit of oil. Now this is really soft just because it doesn't have the casing, but it is Italian sausage. So you can get spicy, you can get mild, sweet, whatever you want, they are all gonna work. And if you have ground beef, ground beef will work too. For me personally, when it starts to get cold, I want soups, I want like hearty, warm, and this is gonna be perfect. It's a creamy soup. It's gonna be nice and decadent. It has the protein, not only the protein from your Italian sausage, if you're using bone broth, you're gonna get more nutrients. You get that collagen, protein. So it's a very nutrient dense um, soup. It's just like super delicious. So overall, it's great for your gut, tastes good. Great for like a dinner, even lunch. I mean, just so many options with soups, guys. They're great for leftovers, meal prepping. So I added a little bit of oil. Now let's add in our onion. Okay, and we're gonna saute this here. We're gonna add in our minced garlic. We're gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, and we have Italian seasoning. Okay, so our meat is getting a little bit of color, which I'm okay with that now. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and toss in our sun-dried tomatoes. So it's gonna go right in. Give that a good mix. So you want that kick, but I mean, it's, you know, that is completely optional. Now let's go ahead and toss in our broth. Okay, so I already pre-cut the kale. I'm just gonna toss that right into our soup. I like it to be finely shredded like this. I think it just, um, I don't know. I mean, if you want big pieces of kale, no problem. Personal preference. I just like it to be finely chopped like this. And we are gonna top it with freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I guess one of the, the most time consuming things with this soup is just cooking your sausage, which it takes literally two to three minutes. Now to finish this off, we have a little bit of organic heavy cream and we're just going to top our soup. This is gonna give it that nice creaminess that we want. Look at that. Oh my goodness, yes. <gasps> Better than Olive Garden. Sorry, sorry. I grew up going to Olive Garden for this soup, okay? As you go in there, I'd make sure that my someone in the family got the salad. I'd get the soup. It was unlimited, you know, unlimited soup and salad. I usually have at least three bowls of this stuff. Guys, this is delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the recipe in the description below. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you show me some love, go hit that like button. And again, share this, friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or that are just looking for healthier alternatives to their favorite foods. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.